So I've been playing Black Desert Online for about a month now, and I want to share with you something that I've come to the realization to, and that is life skilling makes you more money than grinding. Might sound like common sense to a lot of veterans, was not common sense when I started this game. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about gathering. So this little shy over here has made me over 500 million in a week. So uh, let me tell you what's going on. So my shy hit level 49. She has done nothing from the story. Absolutely nothing. I created my character over here. She spawned here or somewhere around here, right? I immediately ran all the way to Velia and I picked up a butcher's knife and ran back here to force a seclusion and I started killing these wolves. So you see these poor wolves over here? I killed these guys over and over and over, took my butcher's knife, did gathering over and over and over again and again and again until I hit level 49. Yes, you heard that right, from level 1 to level 49 and I have done nothing from the story and just gathered meat. The reason why this has been so profitable is because you can sell wolf meat for 8,000. It's not only wolf meat, it's any type of meat that you can gather. I think sheep's meat or lamb meat might be a little bit cheaper or you get a little bit less or whatever. For some reason, people don't do that. So, um, you know, I just do wolf meat because she's right here, right? This is the starter area. My home base is in Velia. So wolf meat makes perfect sense for me. So how exactly do you make so much money from collecting wolf meat? And the reason is because of your gathering stat over here. You can see that my gathering is professional 7. You start as professional 1 if you make a shy. So let's click on learn more. And you can see that your gathering has a mastery rank over here. That there's a number. So I'm going to jump over to the other screen to show you a, a spreadsheet. Which will also be linked in the description below in case you want to read it or you want to save it for your own uses. But we can see right here that it tells you the chances of getting some basic items, special items, rare items, and very rare items, as well as the mastery rank and the percentage it increases. So if you guys remembered, my mastery was 185. So I fall within the bracket of 150. So chance to get common items, 80%, yay! And then the normal drop amount increase is 23.99%. But the chances of getting special items, such as the Layla Petals, it'll be 14.28%. But the main things that we're looking at are for the rare items and the very rare items. Especially the very rare items, because these are the ones that give you a lot of money. So you can see, again, I'm at like the 150 bracket, so I have an 8% chance to get these very rare items. But this mastery stat over here can be boosted with equipment. And this is where gear comes in. Like you can see here, once you start getting the higher levels, like once you get your gathering to like 500 or 600, like you start getting like a 21% chance or like a 26% chance to get these rare items. Like these are the sharp shards and these are the Kafra stones. Both of these items are worth at least 2.6 million each. But if you actually use them in heating or alchemy and refine them into their final forms, you can actually sell them for a lot more. So basically you want to get your gathering stat to at least 500 mastery so that every time you gather a piece of meat you have like a 20 percent chance or like a one in fifth chance of getting one of these rare items and this is basically how you get rich pretty quickly because first of all you're gathering all this meat which you're able to sell on the market if you don't use it for cooking if you use it for cooking you make even more money and that's exactly what i do basically you're gathering all the stuff and you're getting all of these sharp stones as well as these kafra stones and even if you don't get the very rare stuff even if you just get the regular rare stuff over here these items are still worth money you can still use these in order to make other products which you can still sell on the market for some good money but basically the tldr is the higher your mastery stat the higher the chance you get of getting all the good stuff in order to make more money. So now I've explained how exactly I make money through gathering, now let's start talking about gear. So as for gear over here, I'm a cheap steak, so I literally just have a dossier steel butcher's knife, which gives me 36 more gathering mastery, as well as gathering item drop rate increased by plus 30%, and it reduces my gathering time by 11. But let's say that you're super baller or you're swimming in cash, what you want to go for is one of these Manos butcher knives. So the Manos butcher knife by itself, is kind of like eh, right? Because it's butcher knife mastery plus five, gathering minus 11 seconds, and gathering item drop rate plus 30%. So it's basically the same as my regular butcher's knife. However, let's scroll down and let's say we get a Tet Manos butcher knife. Your butcher knife mastery is plus 300. Remember that stat that we're looking for? We're trying to aim for like 500. 
you literally just need one Tet Butcher's Knife, as well as Professional 8 or just Artisanal 1, and you literally have that stat. You're set, you're all good to go, and you're gonna be making a lot of money. But you know, getting a Tet Manos Butcher's Knife is gonna cost you an arm and a leg, right? It's 2.9 billion. So uh, yeah, a lot of money, but this item will pay itself off very, very quickly because you're going to gather more meat. You're going to have higher chances of getting all those rare items, which you can resell on the market or you can use them for processing and, you know, make them into their final forms and flip them for even more money. Let's say you're in the same situation as me. You've got one billion silver or you've got less or you've got more. Who knows? But, you know, we're not there yet. We're not at the three billion silver. We can't get a Tet Manos Butcher Knife. So you've got two options. One, you can craft a Manos Butcher Knife yourself and go through the painful process of upgrading all the RNG upgrades in order to get it to Tet, which I personally don't recommend and I'm not going to be doing that. The second one is you make this much money so that you can just buy a Tet Butcher's Knife and that's what I'm going to be doing. So how am I going to be making this much money? So for now, I'm sticking with the poor man's build. I'm sticking with the silver embroidered gatherer's clothes. The reason why I use this is because it gives me movement speed, gives me a, a gathering ability plus one, and gives me gathering EXP plus 10%. And basically I'm wearing this because I want to increase my gathering stat. My gathering is professional seven. I want this to be artisanal one by the time I get my Manos butcher knife. Because by then hopefully I will hit that magical number of 500. So every one in fifth wolf I kill, I'll be able to have a good chance of getting a Kafra stone or some, or you know, an item worth 2 million plus, right? And then as for the knife over here, I'm using a Dossier Steel Butcher Knife. You can buy this from the NPC for 15 million. I don't think there's anyone selling it on the market for 10 million because they would lose money because the only way to get this is from the NPC, I think. So yeah, buy, just buy this from the NPC for 15 million and then use your Blackstone to upgrade it. You can upgrade it to stage 6 without any chance of failure. And so, yeah, I got mine to stage 8. And this is what I did. Okay? And once you've got that, then you go off on your merry way to kill some wolves. Alright, so you can see here that I just finished gathering. I am at 0 energy. I used like 40 energy, I think, together. So I did manage to get 494 wolf meat. And the main thing was my durability of my offhand is broken. You know, I've got like 3 durability left out of 130. So I need to go back to town to repair it. Um, so this works out for me, doesn't work out for other people. Oh no, it's the stupid tip thing that keeps popping up, whatever. But other than that, the couple rare items I was able to get was I got seven black gem fragments, which is worth 409k each, as well as a deep blue hoff root, which is worth 2.4 mil, right? And so basically this is why gathering is pretty useful is because you get all this stuff and I have to gather it anyway because it complements for my cooking. It's actually a necessity for my cooking because I need meat for a lot of my dishes. So I gather a bunch of my meat, I bring it back to my base and then I make dishes out of it and I sell that through Imperial Cooking. But what do I do with the black gem fragments? As I said earlier, I was going to process them into their final forms. So if we read over here that if you add a black gem fragment plus a black stone weapon and a black stone armor, it turns into a black gem. So we're going to do that first. We're going to turn this into a black gem and then I'll show you what to do after you turn it into a black gem. So I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, we're going to press L to open up our menu over here and then we're going to go to simple alchemy because that's what it tells us to do. And we're going to throw in our black gem over here and again we're going to throw in their armor and our weapon blackstone and we're going to click start and voila we've made black gem so you can see that black gems are worth a little bit more they're worth 855,000 instead of the original 409,000. but of course you have to take into consideration that you also did use a blackstone weapon and a blackstone armor so let's add these up together just to show you the math so you do take a 409,000 over here we're going to plus 184,000 and we're going to plus 205,000 and that adds up to a total of 798,000 which is less than this so we're going to minus this much and see how much profit we made and we made a profit of 57,000 so literally by spending like three minutes of your time 
you can make an extra 57,000 per black gem fragment because you should have a ton of these sitting around, especially if you're grinding and you're doing other stuff on your other characters, then you just throw them all into your general storage or family storage, and then uh, voila, you've got these black gems. So now you've got these black gems, which are worth 85,000 silver, but we're gonna make black gems into a 10 million silver item, or close to a 10 million silver item. But in order to do that, we're gonna need a sharp black crystal shard, which over here is market valued at 2.4 million. We also need a hard black crystal shard, which is at 1.3 million. But you know, that's nothing compared to the big upgrade that we're getting. So again, we're gonna go to simple alchemy. You're gonna put that in, put that in, put that in, and start. And boom, concentrated magical black gem. So you can see right here, a concentrated magical black gem is worth 9.4 million. So again, considering that we had these three items in order to make one of these, let's do the simple math again. About 2.4 million plus 1360123. Ah, oh, I hate math. Plus 855. So we spent a total of 4.6 million in order to make this 9.4 million item. And the beautiful thing is you can get all three of these items from gathering. You get all of these three items from gathering the higher that your gathering stat is the higher the chance you get to proc for any of these three items and then as for these you know the black stones you just go out in the world and do farming kill world bosses do your dark rifts exchange your tokens into uh, more black stones on whatever you need the weapon or the armor and boom make a bazillion of these concentrated magical black gems let's take a quick look on how many i have so i have 32 of them sitting right here so 32 of them if i were to sell them at let's say let's say i was planning to quick sell them at its current price right i would make 307 million but you know i'm not happy with that because i'm looking at this chart over here i'm like man it's not doing so hot it's like at 900 and something i'm gonna wait until it goes up here to the uh, thousand when it's up here at the ten thousand price because at 10,000, I can sell 32 of them, 320 million. That's what I'm looking at. So I'm just waiting for the prices to go back up and I will be selling all of mine at that price. You know, I could list them now if I wanted to, but I, I, I'm patient. I'll wait until it stabilizes up there because you can see that the prices are pretty stable up here. Um, I don't know what happened there, but you know, it's pretty stable. So that's basically how this little shy over here, which has never left Velia, is able to make so much money she makes more money than my other characters actually however do take into consideration that she is using some materials that my other characters are farming for and also my other characters are out there questing in order to increase my energy levels so that she can gather more stuff there's one thing that you do need to remember that i always forget and that is to repair your gear because you can see here that i have three durability on my knife so if i was going to go gather more meat it wouldn't gather much meat so I do need to repair all my stuff so it does cost a little bit of silver over there in order to repair everything and then once I repaired all my gear if I had more energy I would just go back and gather more wolf meat or if I don't want to play anymore I just go auto fishing or if I want to go kill stuff I switch to my other characters and that's basically all I do all day but anyway I hope you found this video helpful if you did I would appreciate a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye what can I say? You're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the rest.